everyone, today we're back in the hometown kitchen and I am with Tanya Turner. Hey Tanya. Hey. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. What are we making today? This is just a basic um, sausage casserole, but it's really a Pillsbury breakfast casserole. Great. What do we need to get started? Okay, so we have to have two of the Pillsbury um, crescent rolls. Okay. Um, and you can do original or the butter flavor. Either one works great. Just one pound of sausage, mm -hmm. hot or mild. Hot gives it a whole lot more flavor. Okay. Not necessarily hot, but it's just a lot more flavorful. Um, then one block of cream cheese, uh, two cups of shredded cheese. Usually cheddar works best. Well, how should we get started? Okay, um, we just need to have the oven preset to 375 okay. and then um, start the sausage. So Tanya, tell me about this recipe. Where did it come from? Okay, this, this is very popular among the Hometown Bank employees. Okay. Um, th this was, one employee brought this to a shower that we have. We usually do breakfast for showers um, at the bank. And so someone brought this and it's been over 10 years ago. Wow. So, yeah, and ever since it's been very popular and sometimes we even bring two of them. Oh my gosh. You know, yeah. And has the recipe stayed the same? It's the same. Okay. Yeah. There's a few things you could, you know, do a little different with it if you wanted to, but it's, it's pretty much the same. And I, I finally got to the point where I don't even have to look at the recipe anymore. I, I just it. do it. Well, it seems so, so easy. Oh, it is. Very. I love a good crowd favorite. Mm-hmm. So does this just cook until it's browned? Yes. Okay. And I usually do pretty high heat. Okay, perfect. Well, in addition to the hometown fans, do you make this at home for your family? Yes, I do. And my kids request it a lot. Um, and usually when I take this somewhere, I take it, you know, maybe to church breakfast, um, things like that. And every time I take it somewhere, somebody asks me for the recipe. Oh, good. So. Well, it's really so simple. Yes. I mean, there's only yes. a few ingredients. So when will you make it for your family? Is this a Christmas dish? I usually do Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, depending okay. on our schedule, because that can change from year to year. But I make it for us at home, you know, just to enjoy at home. We are lucky to try it today. So you prefer the hot sausage. Have you ever added any spices to this? Or could people add hot no. sauce or anything? They probably could. I actually thought about that. Hot sauce, you know, mm -hmm. somebody wants, you know, a little bit more kick to it. Mm -hmm probably would be good um, but no I've, I've usually done the mild sausage mm -hmm. but recently I was somewhere where another employee made this because it's so popular uh, and she used the hot sausage and so I just it gave me an idea um, that I'll start you know changing mine to the hot yeah I'm sure it's great flavor yeah. I bet it does not last long especially with my son I have a son in college and he can eat the whole thing <laughs> so I'm sure he can learn the recipe now. Yeah, Simple enough for it. a college student. Oh, I'll yes. go ahead and get the cream cheese going. Um, yeah, what are we going to be doing with the cream cheese? We're going to actually, when that gets almost brown, um, you don't have to just completely get it just brown and done because it is going to continue to cook in the oven some mm -hmm. more too. But when it starts getting brown, we will drain that and get the grease off of it, put okay. it right back in, and then start adding some blocks of cream cheese oh, in there. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like people could customize the cheese as well, add some different flavor. And I had and thought about too, it would be kind of neat to try, um, some people are into reduced fat, you mm -hmm. know, watching their calories and you could probably do turkey sausage. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. With the lower fat cream cheese and even 2% shredded cheese. Mm -hmm. So there's a way of making it a little bit healthier. See, I was going opposite. I was gonna just add more more cheese. Yeah, yeah. Different types, maybe. And you can do that. <laughs> okay, how is this looking? Pretty good, we we'll probably wanna get a little bit more brown. Okay. And another trick too is getting the, the clumps out. You know, you wanna get it as fine as you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because it is gonna have to spread across in the casserole dish when we get to that point. Well, if kids aren't already excited to wake up Christmas morning, the sound would do it. Oh yeah. But this is a good thing to serve um, really just by itself, maybe with some fruit. Mm -hmm. I usually set out some grapes or something to go with it and orange juice and my kids just love it just the way it is. So it gives you a little bit more time to enjoy Christmas or whatever you've got going on. Don't rush through the morning because of cooking. Yep. All right, so we'll go ahead and drain it. Mm -hmm. Drain it. 
Mm, it smells so good. And we may want to wipe out the grease out okay. of that pan. I'll give you that. Okay. And what can I be doing? Should I cut the uh, cheese into smaller you could, chunks? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to use this whole block? Yes, the whole block. So now it's all going to go back in the pan? It's going to go back in there. All right. So we go back to the heat. And it's on a little bit lower heat now. Is that right? Or should we keep it high? I, I usually turn it right back up again. Okay. Um, and it takes, it, it's a little bit of work, mm -hmm. you know, because you have to start, you know, just working this in. But maybe I'll put just a couple of sections in first. Yeah. I didn't know what the cream cheese was going to be used for. Mm -hmm. And this is perfect. Oh, yeah. It doesn't take long. When you, like you're doing, putting the sausage, piling it in on top of it, okay. it starts softening up a good bit. Mm, this just makes it a little bit more mm -hmm. indulgent. And while you're doing that, I'll go ahead and start the, the bottom crust okay. of the pan. Okay, perfect. And you can use, we've got an aluminum pan, but you can use a glass, mm -hmm. um, just any kind. But for taking it places, it's really easy to just do this one, oh, and you can throw it away when you're done. Do your kids help you make this? They do, yeah. My little girl especially. It's just easy enough where I feel like it would be fun to do with the family. Mm-hmm. So you just spread a layer of those down? Yeah, just one okay. of those. And um, it can be a little tricky, but you're basically just mashing it into the bottom of the pan. Kind of like a makeshift crust. A crust, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So then this will just spread as a thin layer mm -hmm. on top? Okay. Yes. And it doesn't matter how pretty this one is on the bottom because perfect. it's going to be completely covered. <laughs> I like that it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, you tell me when it's ready. You're the expert. Really is. Just have to spread it out good when we get there. Turn that off. All right. Oh my gosh, yum. Mm -hmm. it smells good, doesn't it? So we're just making this basically one layer. Mm -hmm. okay. And if you want to do that, I'll be working on the top layer. Okay. Um, it is a little bit tricky, you know, because you've got to lay that out on some wax paper. And the top layer, I guess if you cared, needs to look a little prettier, right? Yes, yes. So that's why you want to use wax paper. This is parchment paper. Either one should work fine. Okay. Because this is layered, you could probably add some additional ingredients if you wanted to spice things up. Okay. And yes, I'm, I'm glad you said that because um, another employee told me that she likes to have something green mm -hmm. in everything she does. Yeah. So she took um, fresh spinach leaves. And oh, that's a good idea. Before the cheese, just tore them up all over the top and then added the cheese on top of that. That's a great so idea. Give you a little bit of green, a little bit of vitamins in there too. You could do some veggies. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. So do you have any tricks for how to make that top layer a little bit more presentable? Yes. Um, actually, it's best to put one of those in the refrigerator or the freezer. Oh, okay. Just because the colder, the better, you know, to spread out and, and be able to. And some people even use a rolling pin, you oh, know, yes. to, um, to flatten it out and make it pretty before laying it on top. So um, I'll go ahead and get, we've got one refrigerated. Okay. So I'm going to go grab that. Great. Thank you. Yeah, I want to see how you do this. This is hard. You have to find that seam there. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just start rolling it out. And it really, you see those little seams in there and you want to just kind of mash those and see if you can get those to come together. Okay. It looks a little bit better. Then it won't tear right. or break right there. I bet keeping it cold makes it extra flaky too. Mm -hmm. And I usually just kind of shape it to about the size of that. Okay. And it's not got to be just perfect. It's just basically going to lay on the top and it's going to rise a little bit too. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we can go with that. Okay. And then I usually just pick that up. Oh, that's and smart. And lay it the way I want. And then start unpeeling it back. Look, that is such a great trick. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you made that look so easy. Mm -hmm. And then you're just basically kind of mashing that down and it is ready to go in the oven at this point. Great, let's do it. I'm okay. hungry. You want to be sure and put it in the center of the oven okay. because the bottom needs to get done. And how long are we going to cook that? About 15 to 20 minutes. It depends on the oven. Okay. Um, Maybe probably, we'll check it at 15. Yeah, usually about 17 on my oven at mm -hmm. home. So a good guideline is just to go by what the directions are on the crescent rolls. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's a good tip. Mm -hmm. Okay, ta-da! The magic of television has delivered us a fully cooked piece of breakfast casserole. Yeah, looks great. I'm ready to try it. Yes. All right, let's dig in. Okay. 
Oh my Cheesy. gosh. It's good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And you can see all the layers. Mm -hmm. It definitely has a nice spice, but it's not too hot. Right. Well, thank you, Tanya, for joining us oh, today. Oh, thank you. And we'll see you guys next time on the Hometown Kitchen.